Hi again. So a huge misconception in our industry, especially with nail art, is that you have to be a naturally talented artist in order to paint beautiful designs, but that is truly not the case. Anybody can be taught anything, and I meant that when I said it in the last video. So if you haven't seen the last video, we did talk about why nail art tutorials are kind of crappy and they don't really teach anyone anything. They just kind of show you what to do, but not how to do it, which seems to be the trend in our industry. Um, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out before you watch this. But in this video, we're actually gonna start learning how to master the fundamentals of hand-painted nail art. And that starts with understanding your products and tools. You can be the most naturally talented artist on the planet, but if you are painting and things just don't turn out the way that you're expecting them to, it's because of one of two things. The second thing I'm going to talk about in the next video, but the first thing is I guarantee you it's probably because you're not using the correct brushes and products. So if you're anything like me, I'm sure you've collected an unnecessary amount of brushes throughout your career that you never really use and you don't know why you have them or what they're supposed to do. So we're just gonna toss all those out the window. We're just on the floor. And we're gonna be talking about the couple of brushes that can do pretty much anything. So go get your brushes out and see if you have any of these in your collection. Okay, so the first that I'm sure everybody knows about and everybody should definitely have is the striping brush. So a striping brush or a liner brush is obviously meant for lines. <laughs> what a lot of people don't realize is that the longer the brush is, the less control you have which is really great if you have super shaky hands or you can't keep steady because the brush will do the work for you the longer that the bristles are. Because if I start shaking when I'm painting with a really long brush, the shakes are going to get absorbed before it actually reaches the tip of the brush. So you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see those tiny little movements that you make. So this not only makes the striping brush or liner brush perfect for long straight lines, but it's actually really good for tiny straight lines. A lot of people think they need to go for a short detailer for tiny little lines, but if you're doing a straight line, it should definitely be with the liner brush. Then you have a long detailer or a shorter striping brush or liner brush, and this is just going to be usually about half the size of the striping brush, and it's going to give you much more control, but it's also going to give you some thicker lines when you use them with the right pressure. So this is going to be perfect for doing some medium-sized curves. It's really great for outlining designs, like cartoon work, that kind of stuff, and just more bold artwork. Then you have your small detailer, and this comes in many different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna show you, this is not the same as this type of detailing brush. They do very different work. So this little thin one is perfect, perfect for tiny, tiny curves. You can draw tiny little circles, very small details, but again, if you're doing tiny lines that are straight, you would go with the liner brush instead. So this brush is similar to the small detailer in the bristle length, but you can see it tapers towards the top, so it has a thicker bottom and it tapers towards the top. So this brush is really great for petals or leaves if you use it correctly with the right pressure, and it's really good to get smooth tapered lines. So lines that are kind of like adjusting in thickness when you're painting them. Then you have your square flat brush. So this brush is very underrated. A lot of people don't use it very often, but these types of brushes come in different sizes. So you can get really wide ones. You can get really skin thinny ones, skin thinny, thin skinny ones. Um, but the shape of this brush allows you to double load colors onto your brush, which can be perfect for blending colors, but it's actually really, really good for highlighting and adding shadows. So. Always have one of these on hand. Doesn't matter what size it is, but smaller the better for smaller designs. And then of course, a dotting tool. A lot of people actually don't use these correctly. A lot of people get really inconsistent dots when they use these, but that's just technique. But these are perfect for small circles and dots. Um, definitely get them in sets of a bunch of different sizes so you have lots of options. But that's it. It's just six tools. I'm sure you have like 20 brushes or probably more than that but you just need these six tools to really get you through any design. And then of course, it's super important to make sure that you're using the correct product with these brushes. So whether you're painting with gel paints or regular nail polish or water-based acrylic paints, 
You want to make sure that you're using them correctly with your brushes. And all of those paints have their pros and cons, so you have to make sure you find the right one that's good for the design that you're looking to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some good tips and tricks um, with your brushes. So I'm very, very excited to finally be launching my revamped Master Handmade Nail Art course. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure you get on the early bird waitlist at nailartclass.com because again, I am taking a very limited amount of students because I want to make sure I can offer the support that they need throughout the whole process. I like holding people's hands. And then in the next video, we're actually gonna be talking about the number one reason why nail artists, naturally talented or not, do not get the results that they expect when they're painting. So very, very simple trick that I don't know why nobody teaches more of. It is something that will give you instant results. You'll see instant improvement in your hand painted work. So make sure you stick around and look out for that video. If you are on the email list, you will be getting an email so you can see it before anybody else. And um, I'll see you in a couple of days.